What's up guys? So, it's Vlogmas Day 14. We've made it two whole weeks. Um, so today, I put out some feelers on my Instagram and Twitter, which are both M underscore Dunk, as well as my Snapchat. Also, just a preface, if you guys ever have any questions regarding what you see in a video, what I'm wearing, um, products that I talk about in the video, or my various social media handles, I do put all of that in the description box below. So make sure you check that out um, if you ever have any questions about what's in the video. Um, and then if I don't answer your question, obviously feel free to ask in the comments. But what we're here for today is we're doing a Christmas Q&A! Yay! So, um, when I first posted on Instagram this morning, um, I opened it up to just like a generalized Q&A, but uh, included that you could ask, you know, Christmas related questions if you wanted to. And then I actually got a lot of holiday questions. So I was like, you know, let's just, let's, let's keep with, it is Vlogmas, it's Christmas season, it's the holiday season. Let's stick with that theme. So we are going to keep it um, Christmas related for this Q&A. So let's ho head, <sighs> so. Let's head over to, we'll start with the Grammy Gram and then we'll go to the tweeter. So many comments. Obviously I can't answer every single question as well because there were a lot of questions. So if I didn't answer your question, I'm sorry. Don't be offended. I still love you. It's fine. Um, so someone asked favorite holiday drink. Um, wine. I guess that's not just reserved for the holidays. That's like year round. But uh, my family, obviously I don't drink illegally but my family um, oftentimes at celebrations, they will have wine or last year when I was in Mexico over Christmas, I got wine like every day while I was there because it was legal. Um, I just, I really love wine. Uh, more specifically related to the holidays, um, I love eggnog. Eggnog is bomb. And hot chocolate, but like white hot chocolate is super good. And then my mom makes this amazing crock pot hot chocolate, like from scratch hot chocolate and it's like, milk um actually it's like i think it's condensed milk so like the good shit <laughs> so like sweetened condensed milk chocolate chips uh heavy cream vanilla sugar and like makes it in a crock pot and it's so so good okay i've gotten this question on instagram and on twitter and i just want to like cover this now um a lot of people want to know like since you're on since i'm on prep am i tracking during the holidays I do what I am told to do by my coach. So if I am in a place in my prep where I can take a day off on the holidays, then I do so. And if not, then I don't. Uh, I just do what I am told to do. I was allowed to have a slight little break on Thanksgiving, which was super duper nice. Um, obviously nothing overboard, but I was allowed to take the day off of tracking. Um, I kind of avoid this question when asked. I don't want people to think that they have to do what I'm doing but what I do is what I'm told to do by my coach. So that is the answer to that question, getting that out of the way in the beginning. I've been asked this like a million times. What's your favorite Christmas tradition, if you have any? Um, I have a few. One of them would be making fudge and caramel with my mom and my sister um, before our family Christmas. Actually, my mom's fudge. My mom has just so many tricks up her sleeve. Um, my mom's fudge is the freaking bomb and it was actually the source of a family dispute at my graduation party because someone was trying to argue that their family's fudge was better than my mom's and like people got heated. Like real heated. So yeah, making fudge and caramel with my mom and my sister um, before Christmas. It just makes the house smell so nice and it's freaking good and it's just fun. I love cooking and like obviously, actually around holiday times it was one of the first instances I ever had with learning to cook with just being around my mom around the holidays. Um, so that's one tradition that I really, really love. Another one is having coffee cake, my mom's coffee cake. Mom, hello Jeannie. Let's just have Jeannie make a recipe book. <laughs> but my mom's coffee cake on Christmas morning, my mom's coffee cake is the shit. Like, there's, like, no. Last year when I was in Mexico over Christmas, I made them save me some for when I came back and literally the second I got home from the airport, I had some of my mom's coffee cake and it was glorious. So yeah, having my mom's coffee cake on Christmas morning while we open presents, um, driving around looking at Christmas lights after the Christmas Eve church service, um, and then singing Silent Night, like turning all the lights off and singing Silent Night with our candles at the Christmas Eve church service. I would have to say those are my favorite, favorite Christmas traditions which it said tradition, but I couldn't pick one. Typical. 
what's on your Christmas list? And I've gotten asked this a bunch of times. Um, honestly, gift cards and money. Like, because I am super particular about what, you know, like I'm really particular about my clothes, whether it's normal clothes or workout clothes. I'm really particular about my accessories. I'm really particular about scents. I'm really particular about candle smells. I'm really particular about makeup. I'm just a really particular person. Like, just get me a gift card or give me cash because then I can just like buy something that I want with it. Um, I don't know, I'm really hard to get things for. What's your favorite Christmas movie? I would say the Jim Carrey, How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Uh, just because that is another one of my family Christmas traditions that I love is we always watch The Grinch um, before Christmas. Um, and then also the really old Rudolph movie and like the Abominable Snowman, like all of those movies that are like literally on VHS. I love those. I think they're adorable and I love watching them. What's the best Christmas gift you've ever received? Um, and actually, it's a really, really simple thing, but I'm, you guys know, I'm a feelsy person and I love it when gifts have a meaning behind them. Um, and my sister, she, she gives the best meaning filled gifts. Um, so this is actually, you guys have probably seen this in my videos before, it's a coffee mug with this weird symbol on it. Um, so my sister, and it says Love Elise on it, because that's my sister's name, there's a little heart in the bottom. Um, but one year, actually this was the year that I was like, the first year that I'd been truly recovered from my eating disorder. Um, uh, my sister is asking what do you want for Christmas, and I knew that she had been like, or they had up, cause she went to Purdue, um, they had one of those like firing places where you go and you paint your own thing and they fire it and like you, glo you gloss it and all that stuff. And I was like, make me something. And I just really liked African tribal symbols. And I believe this is an African, a drinka, andrinka, I don't know if I'm saying that right. A drinka, definitely not saying it right. A drinka symbol, um, but this one, I gave her like a list of ones. I was like, put something like that on there. Um, I gave her a list of the ones that I liked um, and liked the meaning behind. And this guy right here means learn from your past. Um, so this is so cheesy, but it's like, like I said, that was the first year that I had really been recovered from my eating disorder. Um, and so, and she was one of the first people to ever know that I was having a problem. Oh God, I'm getting busy. <laughs> so she made me this mug and I use it every single day. Um, and just like this little symbol is like a reminder, you know, learn from your past. Um, you can't change it, but you can go somewhere with it and you can learn from it. Um, so it reminds me of my sister who was one of the first people to ever know about my struggles and to care uh, about what I was going through. And, <laughs> and obviously I love coffee. <laughs> And it's a huge cup, so I can literally like make oats in it, or like just drink all of my copious amounts of coffee in it, or make tea in it, or anything like that. So, oh god, it's a simple gift, but it's my favorite one that I've ever gotten. It's probably the gift that has been put to use the most out of any gift I've ever gotten. Uh, my favorite Christmas cookie, Snickerdoodles, so good, um, or gingerbread cookies, like soft gingerbread cookies, though not hard ones. I still like the hard ones, but soft, soft cookies. Soft cookies, warm cookies, not little ball of fur cookies though. No, we don't want fur in our cookies. Favorite Christmas dessert slash goodies to make? Um, I would say it's not really a dessert, it's a breakfast food, but like I mentioned before, my mom's coffee cake. That's something that's like reserved for the holiday time of year. And like I said before, it's spiritual and magical and delicious and I love it. And I would eat an entire coffee cake if I could, which I probably could. Let's be honest, I'm not gonna limit myself. <laughs> right now when I'm in prep, I will. Um, what's your favorite seasonal Starbucks drink? I don't have one. Uh, I, I haven't been able to try any of them this year just because obviously I'm in prep and I'm not gonna waste the carbs on the Starbucks drink when I could eat them. Um, but to be quite frank, and I'm going to lose like all of my subscribers for this. Uh, First of all, I prefer my coffee black. I won't lose subscribers for that. So I don't really like frou-frou coffee. Like it makes my teeth hurt and it just And like I said, I don't want to waste the macros on it. And second of all, Starbucks is not my favorite when it comes to coffee. Um, just 
for a myriad of reasons. But I'm not a huge fan of Starbucks. I pretty much only get it like when that's the only option that I have or when my dad brews it because my dad brews it better than Starbucks does. So I don't have a favorite Starbucks drink or seasonal Starbucks drink. Uh, favorite part of Christmas dinner, uh, sweet potato casserole because I, I'm in charge of the sweet potato casserole every year for Thanksgiving, for Christmas, any holiday where we have sweet potato casserole, that is my job. So it's freaking good. It's got like the buttery pecans and walnuts and brown sugar and butter and everything and I can, oh. So good, sweet potato casserole, yes. Someone asked, what's your favorite Christmas ornament? Actually, this is really funny. My sister and I, we fought over this when we were kids. We would fight over it every year. Who got to put this ornament on the tree? Um, I will include like a little side-by-side -side video clip of it here, but it's a little ballerina and it's, it's just so pretty. Like I would literally just sit there and play with it and I would take it off the tree and I would have her spin on her toe and it's just, it's just gorgeous. Um, and maybe I'm like overhyping that, but I don't know, but yeah, we would fight over that. We kind of still do actually fight over it every single year. We would have to take turns like, okay, you put it on the tree last year, Elise. Now it's Emily's turn. And yeah, just super funny little children things. But that is my favorite ornament. And then last but not least, Katie Hearn. Planning to mail myself to you for Christmas. What color bow would you prefer? And I did tweet her back, but in case you missed it, red, actually she didn't miss it because she favorited it, but red and gold, or like I said on Twitter, just Strap yourself in a sleigh and have Brix and Rowie be the deer and just bring yourself and them to me. So that has been my Christmas Q&A. Um, yeah. Also let me know in the comments below, what are some of your favorite Christmas traditions? Like what are things that you and your family do every single year? Or if you have a favorite Christmas ornament or any of the questions that I answered, if you want to pick one and answer it, go for it. This phone case is from Nita Case, like I talked about a couple videos ago. Um, this shirt is from Free People and it's like, I've had it since I was a junior in high school, so it's like four years, four years, I don't know. So it's really old, so they probably don't make it anymore. <laughs> and yeah, everything will be in the description box below. Make sure if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys on Vlogmas Day 15. All right, thank you guys for watching. Love you.